I'm just putting y'all on. You know, I'm just putting y'all on. Hey everyone, it's Jessica. Today I will be sharing my top perfumes that I personally choose to wear. So if you're interested, keep on watching. First fragrance that I have here is the OG, you know, all time, number one, Chanel Chance. And it's the one in the pink bottle. This is what it looks like. This here is five fluid ounces. This smells very floral and powdery at the same time. It's light, but it's heavy. I love this Chanel Chance. It is a little pricey. It's a little bit on the pricier side. So if you are looking to get a very nice but luxurious, you know, treat yourself type of fragrance, then this one might be for you. This scent is very like, it's perfect for like a date night or every day. It's so delicate. That's, that's, that's one word to describe this. Very delicate, very soft, very feminine. As far as the wearing power on this, I would say it's between moderate to strong or to heavy. It's decent. It's definitely decent and it's up there. So if you're looking for a soft new fragrance, a little bit on the pricier side and you want to treat yourself, Chanel Chance is definitely an option. We have here the Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. And this is the bottle. The aesthetic is very different. It gives like movie star vibes. It says, here I am. I'm still in the show. You know, this is my moment with the glitter, the sparkles, the little, a little bit of color in the middle, but it's like, you can see through it. I mean, Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent. Now, this here is the 90 milliliter three fluid ounce bottle. This was also on the pricier side. Mm. It smells woody, but it also smells floral. It also smells like a little like musty. It definitely has like a pungent smell. Like once you like smell this, you know it's Yves Saint Laurent black opium. If you're looking to have a distinct smell, this is definitely the one for you. This is also good for a date night. This is definitely a fall season type of vibe and it's up there. This one I have here is the Versace Bright Crystal and this is the little travel size, so cute. Can we just get into how classy this bottle looks? It gives like royal vibes, it gives queen. Oh, I'm a queen. This here, I'm not gonna hold you, I'm gonna tell you where I got this from. I got this from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'm just putting y'all on, you know, I'm just putting y'all on. I believe I didn't pay more than $30 for this bottle. This is the 1.0 fluid ounce. And yes, I, I, I remember getting this because I was about to go traveling. I was like, this is perfect to put in my suitcase. So ladies, this is a perfect, perfect size to put in your travel gear if you are going away and things like that. Or just put it in your everyday purse, going to work, going to school, you know, just throw this in, going to church. So oh, this perfume to me gives older woman vibes like i've worked very hard and you can't tell me anything you can't tell me anything because i worked for this so this has a very fresh floral musky you know kind of scent and i i did look it up it does have musk and amber in it and i'm like that's why it just smells so different <laughs> it smells so clean this is a perfume you want to spray on yourself right after you get out the shower right after you get out of the bath and go. If you are looking for a new perfume that's fresh and you can use it every day on the go, whenever, wherever, however, this is for you. This is for you. And I already told y'all where to go, so. Top tier, top tier. So those are my go-tos for my luxury brands as far as the ones I go to for luxury brands. Now I'm gonna get into the non-luxury brands that I've been going to. So this is Ebony Wood by Jo Malone. And as you can see, I've been enjoying this thing. Like, I've been thoroughly enjoying this thing. When I bought this from Zara at the time that I bought it, it was $19.90. So this is about $20 for this bottle and it has 1.35 fluid ounces. So this fragrance here is definitely woody. It has more of a woody smell. I will say it does last pretty long. I have not tried it. I don't know if I tried it like putting it in oil first and then 
putting like Vaseline or something first and then putting this on. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm sure the last time part will be even longer. This is definitely travel friendly. Like I said, you can travel, put it in your bag, you can put it in your suitcase, your toiletry items in your suitcase. It's also definitely a good fall scent. So if you're looking for a fall scent on the affordable side for this season, definitely check out Ebony Wood. This is what it looks like. Again, 1990 from Zara, period. The last item I have here, last but not least, is the is Wonder Rose by Zara. Zara has their own collection of fragrances. This is what the bottle looks like. I've definitely traveled with this. Mm. This one smells very floral, very also fresh. It does give a nice fresh scent. And this also came with another fragrance that I gave to my mom. So if you like floral scents, I would definitely say to try this, give this one a try. This is what it looks like again, and yeah, it's pretty go-to. I don't want to call it basic, but it's kind of basic, but basic in a good way, where it's like you can go to it and know that it's always going to give you the same result. So that's what I mean by basic. This one, the rose by Zara, also has fruity smells to it, such as red berries and peaches. Those are actually the top notes in this. So if you like those as top, if you prefer to have fruits as a top note in your fragrances, this is definitely a good option. I also feel like it smells very unique and fresh. You know, with the fruits and the floral scents together, I just feel like it gives it a nice fresh scent. I just feel like you cannot go wrong with it. So this is the bottle I gave to my mom and clearly she loves it because it's about 75% used and this one is called Gardenia by Zara and this is what the bottle looks like Yeah, this is definitely like a I don't want to say it's giving night scent like it's giving evening But I'm sure you can wear any type of type time of the day But it's definitely giving like an evening vibe or like if you're going out to eat at a restaurant You know going out of course on a date night this is definitely giving that vibe. It almost smells like a dupe to black opium. So if you look for a dupe at a lesser price, more affordable price, Gardenia just might be it. So that concludes my luxury and non-luxury fragrance collection. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Peace.